It's very hot. Earlier it was different. Yes, fuck yes, I can't. No crying today. I jump on that pull-up bar, you know. Um, broken pieces of something which shines shine but when you're broken you have to be same to shine the same well um, I'll tell you how I feel when I come to gym these days when I come to the gym I forget that I'm not well I'm very excited I'm happy the moment I start my workout I start feeling that I am not capable of doing a lot of things honestly this is fourth week and uh, uh, probably today was the last workout with the brace on. It's very difficult uh, to accept that there is no progress. I'm doing very, very, very slow. Or, uh, it's very hard. Um, there are a lot of emotions keep running in my head. I give up in probably each and every set of any exercise but then I push myself you know I look myself in the mirror that helps and then I keep pushing I keep pushing I don't know I know one thing that I have to concentrate on today's workout workout I make sure that I finish that properly it's hard to see I suck as I can. No crying today. It's hard to see people doing pull-ups, doing those heavy squats. Again, I'm saying it's, I'm not sure if you guys can relate to it, but I feel it and I start crying because I can't do it. At least now I can't do it and I don't know how long it will take. And uh, I, when I come to these days, when I come to the gym, I try not to be seen. Uh, I start my workout at some corner but then you know the vibes and the energy of the gym pulls me in and then I start doing whatever I can. Honestly, I have workout hota hai mujhse, you know, ek did gante mein. Wo mera warm up bhi nahi tha. I mean, mera warm up bhi itne workout se zyada tha. And guess what, I'm in my fourth week and now I have to start working without the neck brace, slowly. Doctors, doctors ke according to kabhi wapis aai nahi sakti mein. I'm being careful, yes. It's my body, I love it. I won't make a mistake. I have to go very slow. It's not convenient. It's not easy. I can't forget my dream. And I cannot see myself like this. I literally feel handicapped. I have gratitude towards this new life, which I have, you know, got. I'm blessed. I'm happy. I am not paralyzed. You know, I can still. At least I hope to get back and that's what keeps me going. It's very hard. You know, I cannot make it complicated by saying it in different words or different statements. It's very, very hard for me to go to gym every day. Earlier it was different. I used to see progress every day. Whenever I used to work on skills like maybe some exercise of calisthenics or nunchucks or my shuffling or, you know, increasing in strength. Now I can't see progress at all. There is, there is, but it's so slow, it's so low, so less, that it's like negligible. And that's why I feel bad because when I do lat pull downs, I used to do the last plate, you know. That was my first or second set. And now I'm on first plate, like 5 kgs, 10 kgs. How will I go to those 250 kgs and I don't know, it'll take a lot of time. Um, I'll tell you uh, when I started working out like three weeks ago, I had a lot of pain in my arm. After my surgery, I had a lot of pain in my right arm. The entire arm used to hurt. Even if I work for 10 minutes, it used to start hurting. So slowly I increased the time 10 minutes to 15, to 20, to 30. Now I can do cardio or treadmill or normal cross trainer for like 30 minutes. That's the progression that happened, which is good. And then I had the uh, 
you know the major problem which I faced during this these three months. I get this stupid noise in my neck. It's like a grinding and coping sound. The moment I look here and there, whatever I can, I still can't look extreme left and extreme right. But even if I move my neck a little bit or you know up and down, I can hear that sound, and that sound is frustrating to the core. That's like annoying. It just kills me because it's probably close to the ears, and I can hear it more loud. It troubles me. The sound reminds me of two things. On one side, I feel that I have broken neck and I cannot do anything. On the other side, it keeps telling me that you have to keep going. You have to keep going until the sound fades off. Until I jump on that pull-up bar, you know. Um, there is this hanging pull-up bar. It's a deck board pull-ups. I did that a few months ago. And when I came to this gym again, and I started crying seeing that because I. I don't know when will I be able to do this again. It's hard. Accident ke baad reports aaye aur kisi ka doctor ne bola ki surgery ho gayi. And I was like, no, I'm good. I tried my best to, you know, lift my neck to tell myself I'm good and to tell doctors, but that doesn't help because report says that I require the surgery. And just after the surgery, whenever I got up, I asked doctor, can I do my hand flies again or can I just stand on my head again? And uh, he said, "We'll tell you after a few months." I thought he's trying to say no. So in the gym, people come to me and they are like, "Oh God, you're working with injured neck." And I'm like, "Yeah." I mean, people don't appreciate. They are there to poke you. Yes, I face such people almost every day. In contrast, I also see people who. Uh, You know, they get motivated. They are spreading good vibes, and they're happy. They all well seeing me working out still. I like it. It's a contrast, and I'm prepared for all these things. I always used to be a candy in the gym because of my activities. Even now, I'm a candy in the gym because of my no activity. So I'm enjoying this. Not really. I think it requires time to accomplish what I really want to. And uh, as I say, time passes anyway. So honestly, what I'm doing right now, I'm just concentrating on that one one and a half hours which I spend in the gym. I do my best for now, and I really, really try my hard not to think about tomorrow or after three months or after six months what's going to happen. So I am giving my best right now at present, and let's see what happens tomorrow. I'm not here to give up. There was a time when I used to find the heaviest dumbbell in the gym. Now I go to the gym and I look for the lightest dumbbell. That gives me kick at the same time that makes me upset. I remember a couple of years ago I used to be happy when I used to switch from, you know, 10 kg to 15 kg rack, then 15 kg to 20 kg rack and then 25 and till 45 and now I'm back to one. So when I see all those dumbbells I'm like when will I reach there again? Building aesthetics is not a problem. It's not a weight loss journey. It has more to it, a lot more to it. It's about having patience. It's about accepting whatever I have lost during this period. And I'll be losing in coming months. But you know what? Comeback has been the best story ever. Many times things don't go according to you, even after putting a lot of efforts, even after being consistent. So, what should we do? Should we stop? Should we stop putting efforts? Should we wait for the right time? I think no. This is the right time. You have to motivate yourself. You have to have that faith in universe. I fall. I cry. I scream. I get disappointed. I get anxious. But there is this one thing which I don't experience, and that is give up. You are not giving this universe the reason for why not good things happen to you. Have patience, have faith, and just hang on. It will happen. If you have got another life, have gratitude. Be happy about it. You know who get another life? Probably someone who has some pending dreams to be fulfilled. 
Now when I broke my neck, there are people who say, you know, universe is trying to give you a signal that you were running too fast in your life. You should just take a break now. You probably should explore other dimensions. Probably you are done with your fitness thing. I'm sorry. I don't listen to that universe. I will do it. I don't want to make, you know, universe an excuse. I just give up right now. I'm sorry. I am coming back. I am bouncing back and my comeback will be loud and massive. That was it and I'm signing off Shweta this side and like, share, comment and subscribe this channel because I am planning to share whatever I go through this journey and uh, watch my progress. You can share yours and I'll see you in another video.